in here in the dark room with um, the pinhole camera. So there should be a, a bigger pillar and then a smaller one. And then we're gonna take the door, the back door of the chamber off. And this is my paper safe. So I have um, photo paper in here and um, you have to make sure that only the red light is on when you're doing this. So I'm gonna come in here and I'm going to get a piece of photo paper and I'm gonna fold up the envelope and close it up and lock it again. Okay, and then I gotta look at the paper and it should be shiny, shiny side up um, and then the dull side is facing the black side. So I'm gonna take some tape that should be on this table. If not, somebody moved it, I don't know where. And I'm gonna tape the photo paper on the back. I'm gonna place it back in here. And then remember it's the smaller pillar and then it's the larger pillar. Just make sure that it's snug in there so that it's pushing that. And then you also just want to make sure that the shutter is closed here. Um, and then you can take this outside. I'm out here with my pinhole camera that I just loaded with the film. And there is two um, tripod mounts uh, that you can put it on. So if you want uh, the, can the photo to be vertical, like portrait, um, then you put it down here where I have it. So you're going to screw it with the quick release plate to the bottom. Um, or if you want a horizontal landscape uh, orientation, then you can put it here and like switch over the box. Okay. Um, outside, I have brought my pinhole exposure guide. And on the back, it kind of gives you a little hint as to um, what is the circumstances of. So I cannot see the sun. It's very, very cloudy and hazy but it is still bright. And it's saying that, you know, I actually feel like we're kind of in the middle of here. Um, the, the sun is still very strong. So it's gonna be somewhere between 44 seconds and 2.7 minutes. So I actually just have this gut feeling that I'm gonna use maybe a minute and 20 seconds or something like that. Um, so I'm just gonna go for it. Here in the front, uh, this is the shutter. So I'm gonna check I have a timer on my watch, so I'm going to go with that, and find it. And then I'm going to count down one minute and 20 seconds. All right. Now, with my rubber band, I'm going to open the shutter and I'm going to expose the photo paper that's back here. Okay. So I'm going to open it up, and it's a newer one, so it's staying here. But you could also put a uh, rubber band just right here in case you're worried about the wind. Um, notice that it is pretty windy and it's actually shaking the camera just a little bit. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. Okay, so... Alright, it's been a minute and 20 seconds, so I'm going to close the shutter. The exposure is done. It's been 1 minute and 20 seconds. Alright. Now, I had to bring this in and I got to make sure that the shutter stays closed. I'm going to bring this back into the dark room, um, making sure that the lights are not in the dark room. I'm going to take out the picture and then develop it in each of the trays now, just like we did with the, the other prints. I'm back in the dark room after exposing it. So I'm going to take out the pillars, take off the back, okay, and I'm going to lift off the exposed paper. I'm going to take off the tape. Okay, I'm going to put all this back together. I'm going to put this down face down so it's not getting exposed to the... The safe lights will eventually expose your paper. So, and now I'm going to go over and develop it.
All right, so here it is. I fixed it for two minutes so it's safe to, I had a little bit of a light leak. I think that um, my paper was kind of stuck in the door a little bit. You can kind of see that right there. But here is my negative. So this, the sky should be bright, right? So now we're gonna be able to use the contact printer to make the uh, positive of this and it will be the exact opposite of this. So now I'm gonna fix it for another three minutes and then throw it in the wash.